Police found out Tuesday that the company will be closing its doors, the apparent victim of a corporate takeover. Channel 4's Don Johnson explains. Another trucking company called him yesterday and was hiring him on the phone, and he said, I've got a job. You see an H. And they said, uh, well, uh, <laughs> I hate to be the bearer of bad tidings, but they're closing tomorrow. We live in Bossier City, Louisiana. That's how Nita and Charlie Witten learned about the abrupt closing of CNH Transportation, a national freight company based in Dallas for three decades. Last spring, the firm's parent company was acquired in a hostile takeover by Neoax, a Connecticut-based corporation which chose to liquidate CNH and close its doors. The closing affects 350 people who were working in the office or as company drivers, and another 250 private haulers who were under contract with the company. We left on a Christmas, which was on a Friday, come back that Tuesday, and about 11 o'clock we got the letter. Just like that. In the letter to employees, the parent company indicated it had tried for over a year to find a buyer for CNH, even lowering the asking price several times. But when no buyer came forward, the parent company said it had no choice but to shut down CNH. The decision could prove more of a burden to the private haulers like Hamid Diab. He has drivers stranded all over the country, unable to use the company's gas credit cards. And at least one of the trucks in his fleet is missing. Well, probably the driver has parked the truck in some rest area, stripped it, sold the tires or sold their freight or whatever. I don't know. Diab and other longtime employees say their loyalty was betrayed, and for that they feel bitter. Meantime, company officials say they are trying as fast as possible to issue severance checks today or tomorrow. Don Johnson, Channel 4 News.